So in this example, we are going to look at a card which has an NFC interface as well as the chip and then on the back we also have the mag stripe so we're going to look at all three sources of information although we're particularly interested in the track 2 equivalent on the chip and the nfc i'm going to have a little bit of a deeper look at the discretionary data so in order to take a reading from the contactless interface or the nfc interface uh, probably the easiest thing to use is something called credit card reader pro which you can download and what that allows you to do is it gives you access to the commands that are passed between the equivalent of the card and a terminal so the phone application acts like a terminal so all you need to do to use it is to to take a reading from the card like you would making any other transaction so once you have a reading what you'll notice is it'll look like you have a card visible and if you click on that you'll be able to see the card details under the extended card details you want to click the dot 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 button which allows you to view more and you need to export that information to something like a notepad or somewhere that you have visibility. The other thing that you can do is you can have a look at the log which is the third tab over and that's going to give you access to the raw commands and this will also give you access to information about the track to equivalent. So now that we have that I'm going to take a couple of other readings so for the chip and for the mag stripe in the same way that we did with the first card and then we can take a look and compare those. So I've taken readings for the chip and also for the mag stripe. So if we have a look at the notepad, what we can see is the track two equivalent data from the chip on the first line. On the second line, we can see the track two information for the NFC reading. And then we have the track one, which we can easily recognize because it's got the name in it for the mag stripe and then the track two for the mag stripe. So you can see I've redacted some of the information associated with the primary account number and that's because this is still an active card. So on the first line we have the, cha the chip track two equivalent data. Now if you look at that, it's made up of the primary account number. Then we have a separator, which is this letter D. Then we have four digits associated with the expiry. So we can see that the expiry is June 2022. Then we have three digits for the card security code. And this one is 221. And then the remaining information, this 852, is associated with the discretionary data. If we have a look at the reading for NFC, we can see again we've got the primary account number then we have this separator or delimiter then we have four digits associated with the expiry so june 2022 a service code which is 221 and then we have the discretionary data which is 852 now on the third line we have the track one from the mag stripe, which we can see the primary account number, this separator, the cardholder name, another separator, four digits for the expiry, the service code, which is 221, and the remaining digits are for the discretionary data. So we know that within the discretionary data, the card security code, or often referred to as CVV for Visa, is contained within the discretionary data. So if we look at the sources that we have here, we can probably assume, based on the first and second line, that for these two sources, the number is 852. And for the mag stripe, it's 228. So what's interesting about looking at this information is that we know 
that in fact the sources for chip and NFC should be unique but you can see on line one and line two that the information for both are exactly the same and they really should be unique sources of information. So I'm wondering what you found with your card. If you were able to look at the NFC interface and the chip, what were you able to find?